The Javan rhinoceros, also known as the Sunda rhinoceros or lesser one-horned rhinoceros, is a very rare member of the family Rhinocerotidae and one of the five extant rhinoceroses. It belongs to the same genus as the Indian rhinoceros, and has similar mosaic, armor-like skin, but at 3.1 minus 3.2 meters in length and 1.4 minus 1.7 meters in height, it is smaller. Its horn is usually less than 25 centimeters, smaller than those of the other rhino species. Only adult males have horns, females lack them altogether. Once the most widespread of Asian rhinoceroses, the Javan rhinoceros range from the islands of Java and Sumatra throughout Southeast Asia, and into India and China. The species is critically endangered, with only one known population in the wild, and no individuals in captivity. It is possibly the rarest large mammal on Earth with a population of as few as 58 to 61 in Yujung Kulon National Park at the western tip of Java in Indonesia. A second population in Kat Tien National Park in Vietnam was confirmed as extinct in 2011. The decline of the Javan rhinoceros is attributed to poaching, primarily for their horns, which are highly valued in traditional Chinese medicine, fetching as much as $30,000 per kilogram on the black market. As European presence in their range increased, trophy hunting also became a serious threat. Loss of habitat, especially as the result of wars, such as the Vietnam War, in Southeast Asia, has also contributed to the species' decline and hindered recovery. The remaining range is within one nationally protected area, but the rhinos are still at risk from poachers, disease, and loss of genetic diversity leading to inbreeding depression. The Javan rhino can live around 30 to 45 years in the wild. It historically inhabited lowland rainforest, wet grasslands, and large floodplains. It is mostly solitary, except for courtship and offspring rearing, though groups may occasionally congregate near wallows and salt licks. Aside from humans, adults have no predators in their range. The Javan rhino usually avoids humans, but will attack when it feels threatened. Scientists and conservationists rarely study the animals directly due to their extreme rarity and the danger of interfering with such an endangered species. Researchers rely on camera traps and fecal samples to gauge health and behavior. Consequently, the Javan rhino is the least studied of all rhino species. Two adult rhinos with their calves were filmed in a motion-triggered video released on February 28, 2011 by WWF and Indonesia's National Park Authority, which proved it is still breeding in the wild. In April 2012, the National Parks Authority released video showing 35 individual Javan rhinos, including mother, offspring pairs and courting adults. Taxonomy and Naming the first studies of the Javan rhinoceros by naturalists from outside of its region took place in 1787, when two animals were shot in Java. The skulls were sent to the renowned Dutch naturalist Petrus Camper, who died in 1789 before he was able to publish his discovery that the rhinos of Java were a distinct species. Another Javan rhinoceros was shot on the island of Sumatra by Alfred de Vorsel, who sent the specimen to his stepfather Georges Cuvier. The famous French scientist, Cuvier recognized the animal as a distinct species in 1822, and in the same year it was identified by Anselm Gat and Esmerist as Rhinoceros sondaicus. It was the last species of rhinoceros to be identified. Desmerist initially identified the rhino as being from Sumatra, but later amended this to say his specimen was from Java. The genus name Rhinoceros, which also includes the Indian rhinoceros, is derived from the ancient Greek words iota sigma, which means nose, and kappa epsilon rho alpha sigma, which means horn. Sondaicus is derived from Sunda, the biogeographical region that comprises the islands of Sumatra, Java, Borneo, and surrounding smaller islands. The Javan rhino is also known as the lesser one-horned rhinoceros. 
Of the three distinct subspecies, only one still exists, Ars. Sondaicus, the nominate subspecies, known as the Indonesian Sunda rhinoceros, once lived on Java and Sumatra. The population is now confined to as more than 50 animals in the wild, Yujung Kulon National Park on the western tip of the island of Java. One researcher has suggested that the Javan rhino on Sumatra belong to a distinct subspecies. S. flowery, but this is not widely accepted. Ars. Animiticus, known as the Vietnamese Sunda rhinoceros or Vietnamese rhinoceros, once lived across South China, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, and Malaysia. The subspecific Animiticus is derived from the Animite mountain range in Southeast Asia, part of this subspecies range. In 2006, a single population, estimated at fewer than 12 remaining renos, lived in an area of lowland forest in the Cat Tien National Park in Vietnam. The last individual of this population was shot by a poacher in 2010. Ours. Anermus, known as the Indian Sunda rhinoceros, once ranged from Bengal to Burma, but is presumed to have gone extinct before 1925. The subspecific Anermus means unarmed, as the most distinctive characteristic of this subspecies is the small horns in males, and evident lack of horns in females. The original specimen of this species was a hornless female. The political situation in Burma has prevented an assessment of the species in that country, but its survival is considered unlikely. Evolution ancestral rhinoceroses are held to have first diverged from other perissodactyls in the early Eocene. Mitochondrial DNA comparison suggests the ancestors of modern rhinos split from the ancestors of Equidae around 50 million years ago. The extant family, the Rhinocerotidae, first appeared in the late Eocene in Eurasia, and the ancestors of the extant rhino species dispersed from Asia beginning in the Miocene. The Indian and Javan rhinoceros, the only members of the genus Rhinoceros, first appear in the fossil record in Asia around 1.6 million 3.3 million years ago. Molecular estimates, however, suggest the two species diverged from each other much earlier, around 11.7 million years ago. Although belonging to the type genus, the Indian and Javan rhinoceroses are not believed to be closely related to other rhino species. Different studies have hypothesized that they may be closely related to the extinct Caindatherium or Punjabatherium. A detailed cladistic analysis of the Rhinocerotidae placed Rhinoceros and the extinct Punjabatherium in a clade with Dicerorhinus, the Sumatran rhino. Other studies have suggested the Sumatran rhinoceros is more closely related to the two African species. The Sumatran rhino may have diverged from the other Asian rhinos 15 million years ago, or as far back as 25.9 million years ago based on mitochondrial data. Description The Javan rhino is smaller than the Indian rhinoceros, and is close in size to the black rhinoceros. It is the largest animal in Java and the second largest animal in Indonesia after the Asian elephant. The body length of the Javan rhino can be up to 2 to 4 meters, and it can reach a height of 1.4 minus 1.7 meters. Adults are variously reported to weigh between 900 and 2,300 kilograms. Although a study to collect accurate measurements of the animals has never been conducted and is not a priority because of their extreme conservation status. No substantial size difference is seen between genders, but females may be slightly bigger. The rhinos in Vietnam appeared to be significantly smaller than those in Java, based on studies of photographic evidence and measurements of their footprints. Like the Indian rhino, the Javan rhinoceros has a single horn. Its horn is the smallest of all extant rhinos, usually less than 20 cm with the longest recorded only 27 cm. Only males have horns. Female Javan rhinos are the only extant rhinos that remain hornless into adulthood, though they may develop a tiny bump of an inch or two in height. 
The Javan rhinoceros does not appear to often use its horn for fighting, but instead uses it to scrape mud away in wallows, to pull down plants for eating, and to open paths through thick vegetation. Similar to the other browsing species of rhino, the Javan rhino has long, pointed, upper lips which help in grabbing food. Its lower incisors are long and sharp. When the Javan rhino fights, it uses these teeth. Behind the incisors, two rows of six low-crowned molars are used for chewing coarse plants. Like all rhinos, the Javan rhino smells and hears well, but has very poor vision. They are estimated to live for 30 to 45 years. Its hairless, splotchy gray or gray-brown skin falls in folds to the shoulder, back and rump. The skin has a natural mosaic pattern, which lends the rhino an armored appearance. The neck folds of the Javan rhinoceros are smaller than those of the Indian rhinoceros, but still form a saddle shape over the shoulder. Because of the risks of interfering with such an endangered species, however, the Javan rhinoceros is primarily studied through fecal sampling and camera traps. They are rarely encountered, observed or measured directly. Distribution and habitat Even the most optimistic estimates suggest fewer than 100 Javan rhinos remain in the wild. They are considered one of the most endangered species in the world. The Javan rhinoceros is known to survive in only one place, the Yujung Kulon National Park on the western tip of Java. The animal was once widespread from Assam and Bengal eastward to Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam and southwards to the Malay Peninsula and the islands of Sumatra, Java, and possibly Borneo. The Javan rhino primarily inhabits dense, lowland rainforests, grasslands, and reed beds with abundant rivers, large floodplains, or wet areas with many mud wallows. Although it historically preferred low-lying areas, the subspecies in Vietnam was pushed onto much higher ground probably because of human encroachment and poaching. The range of the Javan rhinoceros has been shrinking for at least 3,000 years. Starting around 1000 BC, the northern range of the rhinoceros extended into China, but began moving southward at roughly 0.5 km per year. As human settlements increased in the region, it likely became locally extinct in India in the first decade of the 20th century. The Javan rhino was hunted to extinction on the Malay Peninsula by 1932. The last ones on Sumatra died out during World War II. They were extinct from Chittagong and the Sundarbans by the middle of the 20th century. By the end of the Vietnam War, the Vietnamese rhinoceros was believed extinct across all of mainland Asia. Local hunters and woodcutters in Cambodia claimed to have seen Javan rhinos in the Cardamom Mountains but surveys of the area have failed to find any evidence of them. In the late 1980s, a small population was found in the Cat Tien area of Vietnam. However, the last individual of that population was shot in 2010. A population may have existed on the island of Borneo as well, though these specimens could have been the Sumatran rhinoceros, a small population of which still lives there. Behavior the Javan rhinoceros is a solitary animal with the exception of breeding pairs and mothers with calves. They sometimes congregate in small groups at salt licks and mud wallows. Wallowing in mud is a common behavior for all rhinos. The activity allows them to maintain cool body temperatures and helps prevent disease and parasite infestation. The Javan rhinoceros does not generally dig its own mud wallows, preferring to use other animals' wallows or naturally occurring pits, which it will use its horn to enlarge. Salt licks are also very important because of the essential nutrients the rhino receives from the salt. Male home ranges are larger at 12 to 20 km squared, compared to the female, which are around 3 to 14 km squared. Male territories overlap each other less than those of the female. It is not known if there are territorial fights. 
Males mark their territories with dung piles and by urine spraying. Scrapes made by the feet in the ground and twisted saplings also seem to be used for communication. Members of other rhino species have a peculiar habit of defecating in massive rhino dung piles and then scraping their back feet in the dung. The Sumatran and Javan rhinos, while defecating in piles, do not engage in the scraping. This adaptation in behavior is thought to be ecological. In the wet forests of Java and Sumatra, the method may not be useful for spreading odors. The Javan rhino is much less vocal than the Sumatran. Very few Javan rhino vocalizations have ever been recorded. Adults have no known predators other than humans. The species, particularly in Vietnam, is skittish and retreats into dense forests whenever humans are near. Though a valuable trait from a survival standpoint, it has made the rhinos difficult to study. Nevertheless, when humans approach too closely, the Javan rhino becomes aggressive and will attack, stabbing with the incisors of its lower jaw while thrusting upward with its head. Its comparatively antisocial behavior may be a recent adaptation to population stresses. Historical evidence suggests they, like other rhinos, were once more gregarious. Diet The Javan rhinoceros is herbivorous, eating diverse plant species, especially their shoots, twigs, young foliage and fallen fruit. Most of the plants favored by the species grow in sunny areas in forest clearings, shrubland and other vegetation types with no large trees. The rhino knocks down saplings to reach its food and grabs it with its prehensile upper lip. It is the most adaptable feeder of all the rhino species. Currently, it is a pure browser, but probably once both browsed and grazed in its historical range. The rhino eats an estimated 50 kilograms of food daily. Like the Sumatran rhino, it needs salt in its diet. The salt licks common in its historical range do not exist in Yujung Kulon, but the rhinos there have been observed drinking seawater, likely for the same nutritional need.